Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with a quick video, man. I know a lot of people are out there. If you're like me and you trash at the game, you're probably having some issues with getting some of your challenges done, man. I want to show you this first. I was catching hell with that Josh Norman challenge, and then I started running a few plays. I actually just went through the whole playbook. And uh, well, y'all see, I got all of those done, 13 to 13. I went through the whole playbook, and, and uh, well, I've done all the challenges except for the uh, team challenges, 500 some out of those. So anyway, I went through the whole playbook, and um, in an effort to to be able to do these challenges, man, I, I went through the playbook and I tried to find which plays work best against the computer and which ones will allow you to get these uh get these done, the challenges done. So um, pretty much what I did was. Um, I mean, it comes down to really three plays, three or four plays. Um, I can't really help you with the defensive challenges because my defense is, is trash. I mean, run run some cover three sky. Cover three sky, you're going to have to use or, use or one of your guys. If you run three, four, cover three sky, and you um, and one of the guys is going to be blitzing you, you actually put him on a, on a, um, a deep zone, and then you use your linebacker. That's going to stop a lot of what the computer does. If y'all want to see me do that, uh, you know, let me know. Give me 100 likes on the video. Say I want to see it. Just tell me I want to see it in the comments, man. But uh, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to try to make this video brief. I'm going to try to get it under like five or six minutes because I know y'all don't have a whole lot of time. Um, I'm going to show you the plays. I'm going to show you the plays that I use in order to get the uh, challenges done. Uh, the first play I used was the stretch play. This is really good for the for the rushing challenges, man. You just got to run the ball. Uh, stretch play. It's a uh, single back jumbo stretch now you can run any version of the stretch you can run the uh you can run the ace stretch you can run anything but really with the stretch play you, you just got to find which side of the field you, you feel most comfortable running it to where's your best blockers they're gonna double team him and you out like coach got it say you're gonna get chunks of yards every time you run this and if you don't get chunks of yards every time you know you just gotta it's because it's probably bad alignment or something like that. Like that right there was bad alignment. They baited me into running that shit, and I knew damn well that I wouldn't. But as long as your, long as your guys are blocking, you're gonna get chunks of yardage every single time you run this play. And as long as you can read how to run it, look at he get on him, and I'm out. Get up in there. There you go. That's all you gotta do, man. So read your blocks. Come out. Read your blocks. See which way is the best way to run it. As you might not think right is the best way to run it, but right is the best way to run it right now. He's going to get on. I mean, most of the time, you're probably going to have better offensive linemen than the damn Falcons have. So you'll be able to do, you know, you're going to be able to do a little bit better. But don't be afraid to cut it up inside. Like, if you don't see, like, you just got to really just know, okay, am I going inside or am I going to go outside? You're going to have to make that decision quickly. He didn't even damn block his ass. So we not, you know what, before I get mad at these trash-ass Falcons, now, that's a play that you can run. You don't even have to run it to the wild side of the field. The other way that you can run the stretch, you hear you can run the stretch of the toss out of the I-form twins. Um, run the stretch of the toss. I had to get out of there because the computer was starting to adapt to the play. And you just go to green, follow your fullback, boom. Oh, my God, why did I juke? Follow your fullback to freedom, man, and you good. Still here, I would still run this this way, even though they are telling me not to. And now, uh, like I said, this is Devontae Freeman. Some of you guys probably got Adrian Peterson by now. And, or, you, you know, you, you probably have a better running back than Freeman. So, oh, my God. Why did he? He did the dumbass juke. I got I got my joint set up for Call of Duty, so sometimes I'll be juking when I shouldn't. But, uh, you know, get up in there behind your fullback. Patrick DeMarco wanted to run the line. He should have went to the damn outside, and it would have been a touchdown. But fortunately, with the running with the running challenges, you know, five, six yards or whatever, you're going to be in there. Five or six yards of play, ten yards of play or whatever, you don't have to worry about it, man. So this was a stretch play. Uh, you running, let me see if I can get up in there. Like I said, just don't be afraid to cut it up, man. That's five or six yards every time. So you so run those plays. It'll work a lot better against the uh, computer on, on there because you're going to have better linemen. You're going to have a better, uh, better team. I've been running really literally like one pass play. Uh, so those are the three rushing plays you got, and those are stretch, or you can run the toss out of the twins too. Uh, you want to run those. And then this is the only play you really need, uh, the double cross out of the um, 
Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you again in a second. Boom. Underneath. Where you want to, I'll tell you what I'm going uh, let to, me, let me go back and get the play again. So we're going to choose the play. We're going to choose a new play. Um, you want to be on one of the hash marks when you do it. So it's going to be single back jumbo, and you're going to be running inside cross. I'm going I'm to put them on a random play, and I just want to respot the ball. You really want to respot the ball, and if you catch the computer in a bad defense, you want to um, you want to just run it again. Right here, he's jamming Julio. He's not. He might not let me throw it to him, so he's going to jam him. I'm going to throw it underneath right there, boom. And uh, Tammy going to keep on rolling. Really, your primary route on this is Julio. If Okay, so what you're looking at is... If that linebacker drops in the coverage, you're going to have to throw it underneath or you can wait on to, to uh, Toy Lolo to get open. But if that linebacker doesn't drop, which he didn't, that guy's dead. 100% of the time, he is dead. He can't, he's not going to be able to defend your best receiver. Right here, you got to see if he gives ground. Okay, so he's giving ground, so he's still dead. You know what I mean? He was pressing. He was pressing. But you saw him give ground. So as soon as you saw, if he had stayed in the flats, you got to immediately check down to something else. So right here, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have thrown. How the hell did he pick that off? I shouldn't have thrown that because of that, because I saw the dude drop. But right here, yeah, dead. 100% of the time, if you do it, you can even run it to the short side of the field or even when the ball is in the middle of the field. Look, he's giving ground, one-on-one. -on -one. He is dead. Every single time. Now, another thing that you want to do is, if they if they defend that, you're going to hit one of you guys underneath. If you come in here and practice the play, you will begin to know um, when, you know, when you need to go to Julio. Right here, we going up top. But they, oh my God, I hate this. They'll never do that. That's your last option. I, I just wanted to throw it to him. I should have thrown the ball to, uh, thrown the ball underneath. But I really just want to get it to, to be because right out here, the way that I'm explaining it, um, these Falcons are so bad. The way that I'm explaining it, that B, uh, your B receiver is never open, but that's the guy that's going to be open 90% of the time. If Julio ain't open, that's going to be your second option. And then, um, boom, look at that. He is dead every time. If you got a receiver that's got good route running. Other than that, what you want to do is you just want to immediately check down. Do uh, you know, check down Charlie. That's how you do it. Catch one of the two guys, whoever you feel the most comfortable with, on the crossing route. And uh I don't understand why they don't let you drop back all the time. Cause I'm trying to drop all the way back and he's and he's coming forward. All right now. And then you're gonna be able to hit him, hit your B receiver. Uh that's gonna be your secondary receiver. And it's real simple, man. Like I said, you come in here and run this a few times, you will you will You'll get all the looks, and uh, you will learn where to throw it. I don't even know what the fuck they was running just now, but uh, you'll 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 learn all the looks. You will learn where to throw it. Like I said, most times that's gonna be your your best bet. You'll learn all the looks. You'll learn where to throw it. You will learn uh, what you need to do. So again, the three plays that you can use on offense to to dominate the computer are you got halfback stretch out of the pro set. You can run twins, and you can run the halfback stretch. You can run twins and run the halfback toss. All right? So those are the three running plays. That's, those are the eye form. Out of the, I mean, of course you're going to mix in a slant or something every now and then, but those, these are just the money plays that are going to work almost every time. And now, uh, you know, uh, single back jumbo, halfback stretch, and you just, make, you just run the way that you're going to want to run. And you can run it out of ace as well. Um, they got most of the same plays. Um, if you run it out of ace, what I, what I recommend doing is, all right, let's say, I'm just going to let them, if you run it out of ace, what I would do is uh, put them in motion, see if they had man. If they had man, this damn near touchdown. You understand what I'm saying? Because everybody, oh my God, you're going to have better blockers than your ultimate team. I promise, I, I hope so anyway, because these Falcon guys is garbage. These Falcon these Falcon guys are trash, man. So, hopefully you're going to have better blockers in your ultimate team. And you'll just be picking up chunks of yards. But anyway, man, the video already been too long. I'm up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. 
Holla! If you guys want to see my whole team and all my elites that I got, because I got an entire elite team, let me know. Give me a give me a few likes, 100 likes, I guess, or, you know, uh, just comment below. Just let me know, and I got you. Peace.